The question of whether the detectors in double slit experiments physically caused the wave function to collapse was settled by experiments like the 1999 delayed choice quantum eraser experiment. It was performed by a team of physicists led by Dr. Marlon Scully, currently a professor with a lab at Princeton, Texas A&M, and Baylor Universities. The experiment showed that the wave property of a photon couldn't possibly be collapsed into a particle by some physical effect of the detectors. That's because there were no detectors between the slits and the screen so that the which path information was detected after the photons were already registered on the screen. Here's allreality.com creator David Watkinson explaining the experiment. So there is material on the other side of the slit when the photon goes through A or B, it spits out an entangled pair of photons. So for the B path, it has a certain path that follows the entangled pair as one half of the pair gets registered on the screen. The other half of the pair takes a much longer route goes through a prism, hits a half-silver mirror, and gets detected. And there's an eight nanosecond delay. And the same thing for the other path. So it's, you're detecting which path information, detecting in which path of the information because you know if it hits D3, it came from A. If it hits D4, it came from B. Because these are half silvered, half of the time the photons are going to go through. And that's when they get to the erasing portion. This is why it's called the quantum eraser. Because when the photon gets here, they bounce around again, half silvered mirror, so it can either get detected, this path B can either get detected D1 or D2, because it can bounce up, or it can come down. Same thing for path A. So it's not erasing which path information, it's obfuscating it. It's, it's not allowing you to know what the which path information was. Now when it gets to any of these detectors, <clears throat> the time at which it hits a detector is recorded. And the time at which the entangled pair hits the screen is also recorded. So that once all the data has been compiled, then you can analyze the data by first plotting the on the x-axis there all the quanta was detected and at what time. And since you know what time a photon hit the screen here, you can look to see if it's entangled pair, where, which detector it's entangled pair uh, registered. And then you plot for instance, for D3, you plot which of these uh, photons were detected by D3, and you detect and you plot which were detected by D2, and so on. And of course, D2 and D1 have no which path information. Only D3 and D4. Um, once you've separated out the points and when they're detected, you see that photons that had no which path information forms a fringe pattern. Particles that were detected with which path information forms a particle pattern. By the way, they didn't use D4, they just needed D3 for their data. So, um, that's how the delayed choice quantum eraser experiment works. 
If you're watching this video on YouTube and you disagree or agree with what you've just seen, or if you just want to make a general comment or ask a question, please go to allreality.com to post your video or text response. Allreality.com, investigating multiple realities through physics and consciousness research.